So everybody wants a story time because my videos on TikTok keep getting taken down. Okay, so last night I was at work and I'm a desk clerk here at the University of Kentucky. And there was a girl, she came in drunk. And when she came in drunk, she was looking at the elevator um, and she was like stumbling and she started talking to the elevator. She was like, I'm going to effing um, end you. Basically, like, I'm going to end you like off you. And so basically what happened was I stuck my head out the window. I was like, are you okay? Um, like what's going on? And that's when the N word, the B word, those racial slurs and things started coming out. So I was like, okay, let me call the RA. So I called the RA down, but the RA took a minute. And so in between the time of the RA getting down, the girl has called me the see anything about her being registered in the system as Jane Doe that was because she was refusing to give a name she didn't have her phone she didn't have an idea or anything um but then she was continuously um just saying the words saying it out loud um she ended up actually kicking a police officer biting a police officer um they finally took her away but um I just find the situation very unfortunate the problem here is that this happens way too much on college campuses for things to not be done. And we get these emails and everything about how they don't tolerate it, but it's still happening. And I feel like at this point, the attention needs to be shifted from the offenders to the offended. So please do your best to just continue to share these videos out. Thank you guys so much for any support that you've been um, giving to me, giving to my friend, giving to the University of Kentucky students and um, Hopefully we'll be able to get justice for this. Thank you. Word and we word multiple times. Um, she's punched me twice at this point. She's bitten on my arm a few times as well as kicked me in my stomach. Um, and then she tried to run me and my friend over with a shopping cart. My friend also was experiencing these things. Um, I'm choosing to keep her name private until she decides that she wants to say something about it because I feel like her experience is her experience and I cannot speak for her. So we finally get the RA to come down and the girl starts saying things like, do my chores, it's not my fault that you're black, it's not my fault that you're ugly. Um, and then she just keeps like, at this point, she's like singing the N-word. Um, and there are multiple people trying to get this girl to be quiet. She bit a couple of up she bit a couple of other people um who were trying to basically calm her down and so long story short the police finally came um she would not give them their name so 